You've definitely seen this cursed picture of this white dude popping up everywhere recently. This image is very 2014 core. It's like a representation of Tumblr itself. The palest dude making this insane comical smirk with a purple vampire filter over it like it's a Twilight parody. This image is of Josh Hutcherson, and it's been dubbed the Whistle Edit. It refers to a 2014 fan cam edit on YouTube that uses the song Whistle by Joel Mary, which is also a cover of the song Whistle by Flo Rida, which I still find to be the funniest artist name ever. Imagine your rap name is first name Mon, last name Tana. Anyway, Josh Hutcherson himself is known for acting in various movies like The Hunger Games, but more recently he's regained prominence by starring in the FNAF movie, basically causing this thirsty edit of Josh to go super viral in late 2023. And now we see it on our timelines over and over like a white guy virus. The TikTok trend that has spawned off of this involves playing the edit on strange devices, like hidden on objects or in Halloween candy. It's like a white guy jump scare, throw it on your smart fridge screen or something. And obviously there is the <coughs> The chair scene, but um, we don't have to. We don't have to talk about that one. Uh, just know that there's been a lot of edits of the of the chair scene recently. He could really be doing anything in that gif. I mean, I think he's just having a bad dream, a uh, bad nightmare. Goon sesh with the Foz Bears is uh, quite a horrifying scenario, though. You just know Chica is bringing up some horrible stuff on the third monitor. Anyway, back to the Hutcherson edit. There was actually another whistle edit dating back to 2012, but eventually Metro Girl Station posted the one we all know and love in 2014. It's a real blast from the past. The intro is actually scarier than the FNAF movie's scariest. Oh my god, the way he pops out. Slenderman would be scarier if that's what showed up when you got caught. Discourse started about this edit this November, originally starting with some non-viral tweets. Quickly though, as things tend to do online, it spiraled out like neurons firing through a brain. And on November 8th, a TikTok was born. Wow, history in the making. This would get a good 200,000 plays in six days, but the user Dirty Floor Marshmallow posted the first TikTok to kick off the trend. Josh Hutcherson's weird AMV played on strange devices. Marshmallow posted this on November 11th, and the rest was history. But it didn't stop there. People went further and further, putting it on weirder and weirder devices. And by November 13th, someone put it on an ice cube. <laughs> this is actually the funniest video I've ever seen. The absolute maniac play of editing this onto an ice cube is only something I could imagine making baked on a Saturday night. It's so random, yet I want to hang it at a museum, you know, pay a million for it like a banana nailed to a wall. So yeah, you can put this thing anywhere, and it's funnier the wackier it gets. Josh Hutcherson printed out of your printer, projected in the sky like a bat signal, underwater next to Mario swimming, drawn in the sand, a constellation in the sky. Our editor is probably crying making all of those edits, but it was worth it for Josh. Anyway, my personal favorite is this one where Plastic Love puts it on their Nintendo Switch. I don't like it for any other reason other than you can hear them laughing in the background when it starts playing. Respect for keeping the laugh in the video. So um, I'm gonna go watch that chair scene now. Um, for for research purposes, for for research. <laughs> um, bye.